all this and more for five dollars now stay tuned to see what I got uh, what you see in front of you is uh, the product of five dollars it was just absolutely insane I went to a thrift store and picked out all of these individual little bits and pieces of mostly Japanese toys I'll just show you some of the cool stuff in here now a lot of these people are missing arms and legs and so I don't know exactly who this guy is he has an arm and possibly a leg but I just didn't know now these were technically the leftovers there was a tote that had spilled out and a lot of people had already picked through it so there were um, many bits and pieces that were already gone and when I mean a tote it was a large clear plastic tote that probably had all kinds of stuff and then I went to another spot of the store and there was another pile of loose Japanese toys and there was even Legos and cool things mixed in there. There's a little Lego gun and a wheel. Um, let's go through this really quickly here. Some sort of uh, weird dude there. I don't know. Kind of a Medusa kind of guy. I'm not really sure who that is. If anybody knows who these characters are, there were a lot of stands. Uh, here's another Lego of some sort of scroll. <clears throat> there were these um, Japanese little mini kits here. Um, I don't know who that guy is. You can put that guy together. There he is right there. And that's why a lot of the arms got lost. So there were a lot of these probably... Uh, I don't know, the blind bags, mystery kits, whatever, they there's a stand and some sort of clouds or something. I'm not sure what that is. I'll get that out of the way. Um, there's a lot of samurai warriors that were missing arms. Uh, here's a, like, a little space shuttle rocket from NASA. It says NASA right on it. Uh, on uh, there, right there. Then there was a whole bunch of these 1980s muscle men. There was a blue one right there. There were a lot of hand-painted muscle men, which I grabbed. Um, some of these, I don't know the rarity of them. And I had a bunch of these. I had to think the basic kit. I believe I had that dude when I was a kid. Uh, here's another little kit here of some sort of fly looking dude. Uh, again with his base and stand. That's pretty neat. Um, this guy was pretty cool. Let's scoot back. This, this guy, there's his uh, large gun there. Uh, he was missing uh, a shoe, but uh, he can stand alone without it. But still, parts and pieces, some of these things are worth quite a bit. Uh, this had the Transformers logo on it, this clear person here. Don't know who that is. Um, believe it or not, this is a muscle man. It's a little top muscle man. You know, a spinning top muscle man. That's kind of neat. Um, who else do we have here? This guy was able to complete him for the most part. I don't know who he is. He needs a stand. And he's got a little hole in the back for like a cape or something like that. Um, but that guy goes with this other one here. Um, this, this half of a guy. I wished I had gotten there earlier. I might have found some more of the parts. Um, here's an amazing wing off of a person or some sort of, uh, some butterfly wing or something. That's kind of neat. Uh, here's some sort of weird, creepy, like a mermaid or something. I think that's what a mermaid really looks like in, in real, or on a real life, but you know what I mean. It's gross. Uh, what else do we have here is a, a red painted muscle man. This one's got the Circle K logo and a few other, other uh, Coca-Cola on it. And it's a little Pingu, penguin thing, steel, sealed in the back. And then I have another one that says uh, Dr. Pepper here. There's a little Dr. Pepper one in Japanese, and it's a little dog tag that says Dr. Pepper. That's pretty neat. Uh, we got some ch kicking Japanese uh, martial arts dude in pink, kind of like the muscle men. There's a little, little blob guy. They were glued on cardboard, some sort of popcorn box or something. Uh, this is like a Samurai Warriors horse, which is pretty neat. A uh, little metal guy. I'm going through the best that I can. This is so many... Um, this girl was holding something. She doesn't stand very well. Maybe she had a stand. I'm not sure what anime that's from. Somebody might be able to tell me. Here's a little Star Wars guy. Uh, Luke Skywalker and his little land speeder. Uh, and then we got, you know, we found, there's an arm off of some guy. Um, I put this guy together. This awesome skeleton uh, with a shield and a sword. That's pretty neat. Um, there's another samurai guy and a sword. He's relatively complete. I think he actually has a stand, but his stand doesn't stay on there. And that's really pretty well made. That's really pretty awesome. All this for five bucks. I mean, some of these uh, specialty toys, you walk into a shop and you're like, 15 bucks for a little guy. Oh my gosh. Especially if they were imported. That might be, I don't know who this guy is. Maybe he's Ultraman. I don't know. Could be. Um, there's a little uh, henchman or something like that, you know. Um, we got uh, lots of muscle men. Some of these are duplicates. I remember these when I was a kid. I don't know what they are. This one says China, and I think maybe the first ones were made in Japan. 
um, a little pod, and then you open it up, and there's a little dude inside there. That's really pretty neat. Hopefully, I'm focusing the camera well. There's another samurai guy on a horse. Let's see if I can find anything. This guy looks like he's holding a cactus. I'm not sure what that's all about. That weird guy there. Um, here's a little treasure chest with some characters on it. You open it up and you spin these things. I've seen these before. You know, spin the little codes or whatever. That's pretty neat. Here's another little mini kit thing there with some, uh, you know, martial arts samurai dude in there. Uh, golden horse. There's a rider for that, and I think that's him. His arm fell off. Um, I don't know, this Doc Holiday or something like that? I'm not sure who that is. Uh, that's That was mixed in with the toys there. So if somebody knew their quality, um, or their unusual stuff, this guy's really pretty cool, and he's complete. And he actually stands on his own, and that's really pretty awesome. I couldn't believe I got that guy. This guy's also really well made, but again, he's missing his arm and a stand, um, but really well made. And I don't know who he is. Some sort of Roman gladiator. Uh, we got another guy. I think this is his hand, but I'm not 100% sure, but it looks cool. Uh, this guy's kind of a rubbery, rubbery figurine, bendy a little bit. And there, that guy's pretty awesome. Um, here's a hat off to some sort of anime character. I'm not sure who would have had a blue hat like that. Uh, here's a, a creepy guy on a stand. It's like a witch doctor on a stand. That's kind of neat. Okay, focus in there. I don't know. These were marked Big West 82, and you put these little kits you put together. I didn't get all of it, and a lot of them were just kind of uh, random parts and pieces. Here's some creepy guy that looks like an alien or something, um, crawling out of a uh, out of something, and if you shine the light on it, his tongue kind of glows a little bit. Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, helmet. I don't know who that's for. Uh, hands with a sword. Let's just focus in, and, or let's just zoom in and just show you the sheer magnitude of all these toys. Hopefully that's coming through well. I'll get my shadow out of the way. Um, wow. I mean, a muscle men, all these muscle men alone for five bucks would have been fine. Uh, there's a pile of Legos back here. There's another bug guy. Another stand. Uh, some smashed pennies were in the lot. Um, here's a Power Ranger. I just stuck a hose on the and a Power Ranger, I think, without a head. Uh, some blasters. There were tons of blasters. There was a little bucket. Um, let's see. Uh, a big staff with two arms. Um, anything else? Little micro machines in there. That was awesome. Uh, sumo wrestler. Um, little mini Godzilla. Rook, it's Godzilla! And then I knew it was all Japanese stuff. The first thing I saw this, and I said, oh my gosh, i got to start digging. That's crazy. And then um, there's this guy. I think I have his gun somewhere. Uh, what else we got here? And another, uh, some sort of wrestler type dude. Um, fighter. Another little micro machine. Some of those you have to look inside. They even have a mini car inside. Some sort of weird purple dude that kind of look like Slimer, but I don't know who that is. Um, let's see who else we have here. Uh, hurry up here real quickly. Do -do 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 -do. There was a bunch of pins. Uh, I don't know where that's from. Here's a Canadian Maple Leaf pin. Um, here's a Gundam eraser. That's really pretty neat. Still sealed. Oh man, I wished I had gotten there, but I mean, you can't complain when you got this sheer amount of stuff. Here's a little tiny little motorcycle. That's neat. Uh, here's a I Love Oregon pin. Uh, more Legos. Uh, here's a Godzilla head of some kind. That's really neat. Some of us, well, here's some sort of like a, a pole to a temple, uh, an ancient temple type of, um, with some rats on it. That's pretty gross. Or, and it's cool at the same time. And we got this muscle man. He used to be pink, but now he's, uh, brown and yellow. Maybe he's the brown hornet. I don't know. And here's another little robot got type guy. Lots of weapons. Oh man, his stands with some skele skeleton skulls on it. And some old wood kind of looking thing. Um, what have I missed here? Uh, here's like a little Minecraft dude, I think. With a suction cup on the bottom. Princess Leia on a speeder bike. Um, some little craft vehicle thing. Uh, I think this is a G.I. Joe M16. I think that's what that is. Anything I've missed? No, I pretty much got it all. But anyway, uh, oh, this guy. I want to know who this guy is. Is this from Dragon Ball or what? What's this from? Naruto? Naruto? I'm not sure. 
Uh, anyway, oh, and one more guy. One more guy. I keep finding more guys. 